Who who pulled out the Spider-Man box? Me. Sorry. So good job, brother. So um today is what's today? Today is the twenty third, I believe. Wednesday. Wednesday twenty fourth. The twenty fourth. And um here's Chrisette. Chrisette is actually just is actually putting on a show for her. With her, with his handicapped Spider-Man. The Spider-Man is missing an arm. Or his hand. So he's putting on a show. Because he just is so in love with Chris. She's watching you. Is, she doesn't have teeth. I keep telling you that. <laughs> so, but can I see your teeth? <laughs> and um, the miracle about this is that just a couple of months ago, Justice was not speaking in sentences. And now, he's speaking in sentences. Go, Justice. Go, Justice. Go, Justice. <laughs> so, at one point, <laughs> I was really worried about him. And even though he has a lot of work to do, he has improved a great bit. So. Yes, and I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Let me guess. No. I can see his lips. Who's she's lip? lip. I mean, her, her lips. lips. I'm saying she's lips. She's lips? <laughs> no, her, her lips. lips. <laughs> her lips? Yes. Oh. Mwah, I love you, okay? He wasn't even speaking in good you phrases. Know, like, he wasn't even speaking at all. Okay, I love you. Just mute. Mwah. And when he would speak, it would be just phrases every now and then. And now he's really striving. Right? What makes you strong? What are you eating that's making you strong? Green Gr Greens. Beans. Right. What type of greens you eat? Fries. Kale. Kale. And what's in your smoothie? Mm. Shake. What's in the shake? I don't know. Spinach. 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 And what else do you eat? Avo. Avocado. Avocado. Right. You started eating avocado. And that makes you strong. Let me see the muscles. Yay! You have little muscles. Spider-Man has muscles. We know Spider-Man has muscles. Now he's ripping Spider-Man. This is Chrissy today. Hola, mi amor. Hola. Hola. Hola, mi hija. What are you eating? Eat, eat, eat. Are you sneaking something? Eat, 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 Yes, I just have yes, I, and I, and E, oh, oh, Y-E-S. Y-E-S? Yes. Bro, you hear him? What did he say? He goes, um, oh, Y-E-S. Y-E-S. Yes. Actually, it's dark brown. Oh. They're dark brown. It's a... You better have. It's legal. Yeah, you're such a big boy. I see it. You're my big boy? This is pink. Good job, Nasir. I see it. We hear him? Okay, guys, we have to go and cook dinner. Actually, I had to clean the kitchen. And Daddy's going to cook our famous dinner tonight and I gotta go wash Emma's hair. So let's go have fun. Yeah. See. You sound like grandma.
Why? Sisters. Oh, Sisters. Oh, you sound like Huh? You do sound like them. Oh, really? You're going to have to dinner? See, I already said that. Yeah. Huh? Well, be careful, Jeremiah. Yeah, we're going to snow. So she got mad that one was rolling. One seven was rolling. One seven was rolling. She was rolling. Niara. Girl drama. Dra girls are always drama. So, we're always playing music in this house. So, I guess I know we need to stop because YouTube, they don't really like us <laughs> playing music. Um, and this is actually Christian music, believe it or not. <laughs> this is. That's what that is. <laughs> Be careful, guys. Look at this. She got her own blueprint already. Uh, she's, doing, she's building a house. She's building, building a house with cardboard and, and this construction is a, paper. This is a blueprint. You see? No video game. No TV like that. Uh, well, TV, but we select the program that they can uh, watch. Uh, we select the music that they listen to. They love it. And we just give them a whole bunch of crayons and papers and their creativity speak. No video game. Nope, we don't allow that in our house. No video games, no. Whatever they do. TV shows. Yeah, whatever them folks be doing. I mean, they're virgin. Their mind is virgin. So, the creativity. She's already simple to own blueprint. And there's so Very many creative. other things that these kids be coming up with. And yeah, this is the kitchen. Why? Why is always about this is the kitchen? But why her bedroom <laughs> is right by the kitchen, though? <laughs> She's telling on herself. We have a lot of food missing in this house. <laughs> no. Lots of food. No. Yeah. Our room will be upstairs. I get you. Our room will be downstairs. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep right next to the fridge. Matter of fact, she's creating. Like this is her house that she's making. So, okay. She said she's not doing it anymore. It's okay to um, change your mind and start all over. What happened now? Uh, I told Nasir he's all up in the Kool-Aid and he doesn't know the flavor. And you say, oh, I've been here too long. <laughs> I was saying in Panama we have a similar saying. Panama we say, Panama we say, puro tilintilin y nada de paleta. Say it again. Panama we say, puro tilintilin y nada de paleta. Uh, what does that mean by that? Do you remember in Puerto Rico? Have you ever seen a Dominican guy pushing a car? He was selling like ice cream and uh -huh, ice cream. I bought stuff. ice cream for him. Right? And With the yellow car? car? Yeah, and he like uh -huh. have this belt that he that he put. Well, in Panama, that's a common thing. Um, New you York see that? too. You see all the, okay, like New York exactly. You see it all over the place. They push in a car and get little bells. Mm -hmm. So the bell makes the sound tiling tiling. Right. Puro tiling tiling in our paleta. So we say puro tiling tiling in our paleta. It's like you're shaking a bell, like you like you got something to sell. You don't have nothing. Maybe it doesn't make any sense in English. But it's <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes sense. You know, when you hear that tiling, tiling, So how do you say it in Spanish again? Puro tiling, tiling, y nada de paleta. So you shaking a bell paleta. like you got something to sell. Right, and you know nothing. Paleta is uh, it's the icy with the stick. You know, remember the, in Puerto Rico, we used to get a little coconut icy with the stick. Uh-huh. You know, how, you, how, would you, how would you say that here? It's the icy. Ice pop. The ice pop. Uh -huh. Ice pop. Or with icicle. A, with a, icicle. Yeah. With a stick. Right. That's a paleta. So, like I said, when you hear that tilling, tilling, tilling stuff, then you know, oh, this is the guy that's selling ice pot. Right, right. So, put on tilling, tilling, like paleta, you're making that sound, but you're right. not selling nothing. You right, get I get it. So, it's kind of like <laughs> you're saying, all up in the cooling, don't know the flavor. Yeah, I'm just joking, never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, so this oh, hold on, hold on, because I wanted to tell them about the shampoo I use real quick, okay? Because right. I'm about to do Emma's hair, and everybody asks me, how'd you get them girls here? So long, and I said, What? 
But seriously, I really don't know why they hair grows like that. It could be their diet. They don't eat meat. They don't eat processed foods like that. I'm not going to say that they never eat processed foods because we do order pizza every now and then. And they do have cheese like twice a month. <laughs> and um, what else do they eat that's bad? What else do they eat that's bad? Um, Maybe the granola bars from um, Walmart every blue moon. This is kind of, kind of the granola No, bars. but even the, I got the, remember we did the Great Value, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah. And they had that. Oh, that's what it did. Get, get, get. But they that's ate they it do. too. Right, they do eat sometimes. Not all the time, but like once a month. Right. And what else? I don't know, but for the most part, we they stay, we, we don't give them processed foods like that. We make sure that. It's fr that they have fresh vegetables, fresh fruit. I don't buy frozen fruits and vegetables. Well, I buy frozen fruit, but not frozen vegetables. Right. And we do frozen fruits for smoothies. Right, for the smoothies, but not fro frozen vegetables. So we try to keep everything fresh, raw. Um, and then what else? We don't do meat. So they just do like salmon once a week. And... What else? What else? We eat pretty bland. So I think it's um, that's the reason why their hair grows like that. As you can see, she needs her hair done today. <laughs> we took the braids out and I put them in the two little pigtails. And then she ended up getting a cold. Oh gosh, Emma. Look, is it Halloween? <laughs> She's like, she just stepped out of Thriller. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but anyway, so. This is what I use now. This is what I'm using now, um, which is um, this shampoo, and this has <laughs> neem oil in it. So we like neem oil because neem oil actually kills fungus. So um, I'm also using. Okay, so and then I'm using this, which is a chemical. Don't kill me or hurt me, but. I'm using this to kill um, fungus and from my research when you use products that kill fungus, your hair grows. So, whatever. And I use Herbal Essence Conditioner, which is chemicals too. So, it's not always natural. Um, I do also do apple cider sometimes or I do um, clay. So, it's I, honestly, it's whatever I have. If I... Miss, if I don't have what I need, then I use what's in the house. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. And as far as moisturizing their hair, I use castor oil, um, which is too thick, but it's good for the scalp. Or I use olive oil. Yes. And what else I use the moisturizer? Oh, and I use Cantu products. I get it from Walmart. Cantu products. And there's another sister um, that has a product. I can't remember the name of the product. Ugh. It has a black top, but whatever. When I find it, I'll show you. But that's what I use. Those are the only products that I use. But I like Kim too because it has the flaxseed gel um, product and then the moisturizer with coconut and some other good yummy stuff. So anyway, I'm about to wash her hair in a minute. What's up, mama? Hey! No throwing toys, guys. You talking now? Don't throw the toys. Hey! Last night I stayed up all night, guys. I'm just um. I told y'all this earlier, I think. But I counted my books. Oh, oh, oh! Sixty-seven. Black children books. Don't do that. 67. Okay, so basically, I counted all these books and I have 67, which is not a lot, but it's a, it's a nice amount. I'm going to show you some of the books I have The Princess and the Baby. This one doesn't have a cover, but it's about Jackie Robinson. Some of them don't have covers. You know how they are. <laughs> Black is brown is tan. And this doesn't include my middle school books. But these are for the little ones. 
So, for those of y'all, and what I do is I go on eBay and I just get lots. Because it's cheaper. I'd rather do that than the library thing. Because, hey, with the library, you gotta return it. And I would like to pass these books down. Hopefully give them to my grandchildren to say, oh, you know, this is what the kids used to read when they were little. But, just so many. Benjamin Banneker. Yesterday I had the blues. I like this book. I really like this book. So many. Grandfather and I. Busy Toes. This one is actually not one of my black books. This is from Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. Tuskegee Airmen. Frederick Douglass. Daddy Calls Me Man. Brother to the Wind. And it goes on and on. Um. <laughs> and I dropped them all. Okay, I dropped all the books. But anyway, I just want to go through them because I'm so excited about them. Here's one. This is one of my first books um, I bought my children when they were really, really little. I'm not sure if it's the same one because sometimes I get the same books being that I buy lots. Oh, let's see. People say hello. This is not a black book. However, I like it because it's different languages. So, Thurgood Marshall. This is one of my favorite books. Okay, so I'm not going to go through them all. Tar, Beach, um, Beat the Story, Drum, Pom Pom, Jamaica is fine. I like Jamaica. Find, um, she has a series of books. Amazing Grace, blah, blah, blah. I mean, so many. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I'm pull this one out. Wilma Unlimited. It's a really good book. Um, some of them I haven't even paid attention to. <laughs> like this one, these hands. I haven't read that one. The mu oh, this is my favorite one. I've read this to them over and over. The music in Derek's heart. Really good book. Ashanti to Zulu, African tradition. Another Jumbo book. That's why I said I'm not sure if that was the one I actually bought. Ella Fitzgerald. It's so loud in here. But that's how it is when you have a lot of children. One of the books I bought when um, I first got knowledge of self back in the day. Malcolm X. Oh, it just goes on and on. But these, I'll just show two more that are my favorite. I love these books. I love this one and I love this one. Dinner at Aunt Connie's house. Oh, man really have to get this book. This book was really all that. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the art actually talks in the book and it um, the different art pictures are actually different people in our history like Rosa Parks, Fanny, um, and a lot of people I didn't even know about. But the cool thing is that my children know about them now. Dorothy Danridge. Um, sorry about that. It's just music is loud. But that's children. They love music. Sojourner True. Um, this is Harriet Tubman. And anyway, Madam C.J. Walker. Marion Anderson. Um... So it's really cool, this book. And this one is by um, Faith Ringo. As you can see, four for a dollar. But I got it for less than that. Because I got it off eBay and I got a lot. So probably got it for a quarter. 
And what are you doing, Jay? Playing my tablet. Playing with your tablet, okay. And what about you, Tassan? Writing on the Okay, cool. Cool. Whoa. Sounds fun. What is it called? I hate snowy days. And what is this? Um, it's a comic book. A comic book, cool. It says, it says, Mom, I'm going now because he was going to a friend's house to play soccer. She was going to play soccer, soccer. And then her mom told her that she can't because the um, mother man said it was going to snow. It was snow. They're really bad. And, and um, she said, oh. And she said, why does it got to snow? And she said, because... And, she's, and she called her Chinese friend Tia. She, she called Mama. She called her Chinese friend Tia. And she says, "Hey Tia, I I can't go. I know my mommy told me. I'll see you soon. Me too. And now the, now the mom has to go to um, the store to buy stuff in, in case the lights turn off. Cool. Good but, job. Says Mayla, I'm I'm going to the store. Okay, I'm going too. And um. Her mom, her mom's from Africa, and she's from Asia, and, she's from Asia and, and the dad's from um, the dad's from Puerto Rico. And, That's very cool. And her mom, her mom, her, when it's snow, when it's snowy days, her mom wears her mom wears skirts, but when it's when, when it's summer, her mom wears um pants. Okay, cool. Well, it's go ahead and imagine, bit. Mama. I gotta go ahead and help in the kitchen so I can start. And let's head. Okay. Okay. The store is really long. It's like it's like twenty miles away from their home. She's Okay, so y'all are drawing. Yeah, we're writing a story. Okay. I'm making a comic about this man. We have to get you a notebook so that you can do that here. Okay. I have one. I'll give it to you tomorrow. All right. All right. You mean a journal? Now we right. She can have a journal. So when we all, you guys make your drawings and stuff, she you can have work a with lot of Oh, whatever. Yeah. How many I have? You a lot. You a lot. Whatever. Tomorrow. Yes. So, me and Kadir here, we're fixing this sink. This sink here has been leaking. Like crazy. So what we did, what we're doing is we're replacing this the faucet. Brand new faucet. Should have showed you everything. Look at everything that came out of this sink. It's my son Kadir, he's helping me. He's also learning how to do this stuff. Look at the whole faucet. This is the whole thing. See how rusty it is? It hasn't been changed in a long time. This is old. Old faucet. New faucet. So, my son and I, we are installing this stuff, doing a little bit of home, what'd you say? Repair? Um, yes. You're doing a little bit of home repair? Yes. You're learning? Mm-hmm. Think it's easy? Yes. Looks pretty easy? Yes. So this is basically what we're doing. We just disconnected the faucet, connected the new one. So what we're going to do now is connect these cables. We just put the uh, faucet in, put the little bolt nut thing here. Now we're about to put these um, the holes. We're going to install them. And next thing, this little, I already know what this is. This bar here is for if you want to close the sink. Um... So this is what we're doing. I'll show you the finished product later. All right. So Dara, what we're gonna do now, I'm sorry, we're gonna install the uh, hose again. Okay? Okay. I should have replaced these two, but I didn't think about it. We can do that later, though. It's good to replace it, to change the whole thing. Make sure when you put everything back in, make sure that everything is 
make sure that you don't force anything, okay? If you feel, if you have to force it, then it's wrong. It should go in smoothly. See like how it's going in right now? It should be smooth, it should be easy. You should not be struggling to put this thing on. If you're struggling, that means it's not straight. That means something is wrong. Anytime you're doing a project like this and you're like forcing stuff, anything, then you're not doing something right. You never have to force anything. Capish? Okay. Entiendes? this. Where's my tool? All right. I have another tool here. Hold on. Where's that tool? Where is it? Wow, so uncomfortable in here, right? Right. Alright, give it a little tighten. If you're not gonna work with this, I don't think. I'll try it out. You just wanna tighten it. Shoot. You just wanna tighten this a little bit, not too much. You don't want to struggle to loosen it like how we did just now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <sighs> really, this stuff should be hand tightened, really. Tighten it some more, that's all that is. The faucet is on. Don't worry about it. We gotta tighten this up a little bit more. All right. You gotta test it and see if it's leaking. You know how you test that? You gotta cover this thing like this. You gotta fill it up. Once it's filled up all the way to the top, you're gonna pull that thing up, the stopper, and look under to see if it's leaking. <clears throat> and everything looks good, no leaks. I don't see no leaks, Daryl. Actually, I actually see one leak from here. Okay, here is a problem. There's a leak right here. See that? I mean, we're gonna change that. That's cool. Turn it off. Come here. Yeah, I need you to hold the camera. Everything is fine. What we change is not leaking. However, this part is leaking. So go ahead and hold this here so I can see. We do have. We do have that part. Like I, like I told you earlier, it's good to replace everything. You know what I mean? Yes.
Here. What a nastiness. Look how nasty this stuff is. Look at the difference with this. Can you see this? Yes. Wow. Totally nasty. Alright. Um, it's saying it can't use flash because the battery's low. <coughs> it's still recording. It's still recording. Okay, so what we did is that um, we back again. We had we had to replace this here also in order to fit this piece here, which is um, oops, what was that? Yeah, we have installed a new pop-up on this faucet here and so we had to replace the whole system here because it wasn't going to work on the old one so this is what we just did and now we're testing it to see if there's leaks i think i might have seen a little leak around here but this has to be replaced i mean oh uh, hold on there and so this is the whole the whole part of it this is what we had under that sink before see how nasty it is so I had to replace it with this gray looking tube here to uh, install the whole um, pop up. Did you fill it up already? Yes. Okay, go ahead and um, lift it up. And so this is basically when we, when I fix any plumbing issues, I like to fill it up and sink all the way up to the top. Then now uh, let the water out. That way if you have any leaks, that's a great way to tell if you have any leaks. Start, run the water, um, Daryl. Okay. So, looks good, no leaks. This was leaking here earlier, but I had to tighten it, so that's probably what it was. No more leaks. Looks good. Everything is everything. Thank you, Daryl. You're welcome. You're helping me. You're welcome. Alright, you can turn it off. 